You're as graceful as the seas. Your eyes shine like small green peas. Poetry is not my cup of... Hello again, my passion pigeons, and welcome to our special Loads of Love episode here at Walt Disney World Inside Out, the show that shows you all the fun in the sun you can have even while immersed in deep thoughts of love. Don't forget to clock in. I'm Scott Harriet, host, poet, a man who hasn't had a date since 1972, and the guy who's here to show you all the tons and tons of things to love here at Walt Disney World, like this. Who's the most famous Disney couple of all time? Today, it's Mickey and Minnie at Mickey's Starland. Here's a riddle for you. What's green and lives almost everywhere you look at Walt Disney World? Today, the secrets of the Walt Disney World Horticulture Department. It's romantic. It's musical. It's the greatest love story of all time. It's the Beauty and the Beast stage show at the Disney MGM Studios. There goes the bride, right up to Cinderella's castle. Today, love and magic at a real Disney fairy tale wedding. It's romance, great food, and undersea adventure at Epcot 95's Coral Reef Restaurant. And at the Disney MGM Studios, special guest celebrity Joan Collins is teaching Scott some important dating do's and don'ts. And join Scott as he travels to and through some of the loveliest spots at Walt Disney World. So grab your special someone, cuddle up real close with each other, preferably. Because we're taking a festive fling into fun as a pleasurable pounce on passion, a super slide through sesame seeds. Um, oh, hold on a minute. Seems to be a little note here for me. Ah, dear Scott, meet me back at the castle at the end of the show. Your secret admirer on Walt Disney World Inside Out. Have your own date, Scott. You have a date in Mickey's Starland. Your mission, find that famous mouse couple and learn the secret of their romantic success. You know, you can't come to Walt Disney World to do a show on love without talking about the most famous couple of all time. George and Martha Washington. I'm sorry, that would be Mickey and Minnie. You know, Mickey and Minnie are here every single day at Mickey's Starland. You can meet them, shake hands with them, do the hokey pokey till you turn yourself around. Hey, that's what it's all about. Personally, I want to find out how they've been able to keep those fires burning all these years. much help in the pigs had to ask you. Well, Minnie's right over there. Ah, oh, okay, thanks. Look, it's, it's Minnie Moo. See, it's like Mickey Mouse's head on a real cow. Excuse me, does that run when it rains? close. Ah, uh, the big guy's bedroom. Moment of silence. All right, let's move on to the rest of the tour. Here we go. Up close look at the, uh, the dresser right here, folks. Inside uh, Mickey's jewelry box, and apparently uh, Captain Hook has stopped by. Of course, Massachusetts U, that's uh, Mickey's alma mater. Of course, that's right next to Cat and Etiquette in uh, Rodent Island. Looks like Mickey's lost a little weight. <laughs> Over here. Rare view, being the host of the show, I get a rare opportunity to actually get a close look at the slippers and not missing much, folks. Oh, photos here. 
Another shot of Walt, uh, doing a little rag time. Of course, here's Mickey and his poker buddies, congratulating him Friday night. Spacious, practical, comical. Here's the lovely couple. Finally caught up to him. Hi, Mick. Oh, hiya, Scott, old Man. pal. <laughs> now, you guys have been together for 66 years, uh -huh. is that correct? About 66, yeah. What is the secret to your longevity? Hmm. Well, the secret to a good relationship is lots of love and a good script. <laughs> okay. I could have got that advice from Pooh. Good advice indeed, Scott, but here's some more advice for you. If you want a romantic gift, the only place to shop has got to be France. Ah, yes, there's nothing more romantic than a stroll down the quaint little streets here at Epcot 95, especially here in France, the old factory capital of the world. Yes, you can just smell the sweet, fresh flowers, the flowery, fresh bread, the pungent, fresh Prince of Bel Air. Come on, let's go shopping. Excuse me, folks. Yeah, I need to talk to you about love. Up against the wall. And how long have you guys been married? Six months. 55 years. 55 years. We've been married 95 years. You've been married 95 years. Yeah. My word. So that makes you what? That makes you... Uh, 25. 25. <laughs> Amore. All right, so uh, I've got a big blind date coming up. What, what would you recommend me getting for? I'd recommend flowers. Yeah, you ma'am? Diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> you have a MasterCard I can borrow? <laughs> I'd bring her flowers. Flowers. Flowers, good. Candy, do you like candy? Yeah. Don't get them candy. Hi, how are you? Hello, bonjour. I'm, I'm uh, Scott Harriet. Karine Lerat. Lerat. The, the, the rat? Lerat? Yeah. That's French for the rat. Oh, it is French mm -hmm. for the rat. Kind of ironic, actually. Working for the mouse. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm looking for this uh, special gift for the special woman I've never met. Never met. Uh, you've got some body lotion over here. Ah. I've got some okay. special shops. And these right here, do these go good with milk? I'm actually looking for something a little more uh, personal, you know, kind of like a, uh, uh, I don't know, chainsaw, like power drill, maybe. Perfumes? Mm. What about this one right here? This, this one. one. You've got Can I give that a shot there? Just, Just right there. Some. Yeah, this yeah. is the one. This is you might like that one. Is that okay? Wrap mm -hmm. that up for me. Yep, that's okay. no problem. Great, thanks. Well, there you have it. Fine French perfume. The perfect gift for the woman who has everything. Except, of course, fine French perfume. Also proof again of the old French saying that the way to a woman's heart is through the nose. We don't say that. Uh, thanks. Au revoir. Bye-bye. France has got it all, from gifts to gardens. You know, Scott, flowers are a great way to start off a date. As you've uh, probably already guessed, we're at the Walt Disney World Nursery, home to an amazing abundance and variety of foliage. And flowers. That is correct. Katie Warner, director of Parks Horticulture. How are you, Katie? Great to have you here. I'm fine, thanks. Well, nice to be here. What exactly do you do? Well, we take care of this Walt Disney World Nursery. Okay. 120 acres of flowers, hanging baskets, topiary trees, shrubs, all kinds of great plants. If my gardeners mowed in a straight line, in one year, they'd mow around the equator of the Earth 14 times. That's how much mowing we do. Does that include breaks? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> wow. I'm not sure. We haven't measured it. Let's go. Let's That's, go see the park. Okay. Here we go. Walt Disney World really is an exceptional world of color. We have color everywhere, in the buildings, in the costumes, even in our flowers. Now, is, is Mickey always the same color here? Well, no, he's not. We change with the seasons. And in fact, we have constant color. We have color in Mickey's face every single day of the year. And, and who's this guy? This is Guillermo, our Mickey man. He takes care of Mickey every day of the year. And if uh, so, if Mickey gets a blemish, Guillermo's the man to patch him up? Guillermo patches him. You'll notice also that he has a very nice texture to his face because Guillermo gives him a shave every single day. Wow, and uh, what kind of uh, lather does he use on that? How often do you have to water those? We don't grow them up. We uh, blow them up. Oh, OK. And, and what's this? Now, this is another hanging basket. We have over 200 of these flowering hanging baskets in the Magic Kingdom. This is a verbena. And actually, it's a great plant for homeowners. Mm. In fact, uh, good color. Same color as your shirt. Can I take it home? Uh, no way. Okay. 
Katie, those aren't floral mines, are they? No, they're floral planters. We actually have our flowers floating in the water. And if you look carefully at them, you can see we have flowers on top, and then a reflection in the water makes them a round circle. Katie, how many different types of roses do you have here? We actually have a lot of different roses. Uh, we test roses here. We're, we're uh, officially an all-American selection rose garden, so we have many, many different varieties. Why don't we go back to the nursery, and I'll show you some very special plants, a special thing we call theming. We tell stories with plants in our landscape, so in our jungle cruise, we actually make it feel like a storybook jungle. Now, does the theming go on at the other parks of Walt Disney World? Oh, yes. Epcot, in fact, is one of the areas where we have some wonderful stories that we tell with plants. And we really celebrate that each year now during our International Flower and Garden Festival, where we tell the story of the Mexico jungle. And then we go to Norway and celebrate the winter in the month of May. This year's festival will begin on April 28th and run for five weeks. It will be a great chance to see the countries really decked out, to hear some great guest speakers, and to get a behind-the-scenes tour of our horticultural operations. Well, here we are at the topiary. Finally, the topiary. Now, you might recognize this fellow, right? Big ears. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, I think I've you got, got him. the gist. Now, this is a, a very special topiary because we make this topiary, this style of topiary, very quickly. OK. By stuffing the, the figure, and it's actually in a middle frame, with sphagnum moss, mm. we can then grow vines on the outside. And we use lots of little plants to do that. This is the other way we do our topiary. In fact, this is the way we did it in the very beginning, back in Disneyland in 1955. You can see the shrub has grown up through the frame, and they can take actually up to 10 years to grow out. And how much do they eat? Oh, Just not that it's, much. It's, you know, well, it's down at the bottom here. Yeah. This was a great tour. Thank you very much, Katie. Um, Thank you. I'm it's great go, having you. I'm going to go visit Goofy. Okay. All right. From the beauty of flowers, trees, and shrubs to another kind of beauty, Scott, the kind that sings every day at the Disney MGM Studios. Here's a peek at the Beauty and the Beast stage show. Tale as old as time, true as it can be, barely even friends, then somebody bends unexpectedly. Just a little change Small to say the least Both a little scared Neither one prepared Beauty and the Beast But if you really want to impress your date, Scott, then it's time to get pumped up at the Yacht and Beach Club, just one of the many health clubs to work out in at Walt Disney World. How's that feeling? Good? Burning right there? Good. All right. That's good. Nice form, man. Very nice. You want to try that with some weights next time. You know, good physical form is important, especially before a big date. That's why I've decided to come to the old Yacht and Beach Club to get a little workout. Excuse me, sir, yeah. is this your first time working out? Uh, isn't that obvious? Well, just be careful. You don't want to overdo it. It's OK. I'm as naturally solid as a hunk of Gouda. Scott, it looks like you got a little carried away. While well, our next couple is getting married a way most people have only dreamed of. And if your blind date goes well, it's something you may want to consider. Meet Suzanne 
Kennedy and Ariane Brunet. He's the one in the dark blue suit. Now, you may be wondering to yourselves, how is it that these two people, very much in love, arranged for a real Disney fairy tale wedding right in front of Cinderella's castle? Well, once upon a time. Well, we've always loved Disney. We've grown up with it. Um, I think we chose Disney World because we knew that it would be, first of all, a quality show all the way around um, and something that our guest would want to see. I thought this was for us the perfect, uh, the perfect location to uh, to do the wedding. The atmosphere, the ambiance, uh, everything about it you can't duplicate anywhere else. We kind of like to say we're their fairy godmother. We start with them from everything from their invitations on through to their honeymoon arrangements. It really is one-stop shopping. We custom design each and every wedding based on what they're looking for, what their needs are, what they're really excited about, and basically make their dreams come true with everything that Disney has to offer. Suzanne and Ariane were the very first Disney fairy tale wedding couple to be married in the Magic Kingdom, and it's really exciting because because now anyone can get married in the Magic Kingdom. And so the stage was set for a very unforgettable evening. The guests arrived in traditional horse-drawn coaches. The courtyard was decorated in delicate lace and colors of every kind. And as the guests filled the courtyard, each knew of the romance yet waiting to unfold. For at the strike of 8 o'clock, the bride was announced. And as Cinderella and Prince Charming before them, Suzanne and Ariane met before the most wondrous castle in the world. You may kiss your wife, and may God bless you both. And as in the story of Cinderella, it was now time to party on! It was, I must say, the most wonderful day of my life. Um, I think anyone that's considering getting married should consider a Disney fairy tale wedding. It, they have something that no one else can offer. Absolutely. It was definitely the most beautiful day of my life. The perfect end to the perfect wedding. From a wedding beyond belief to the fabulous Coral Reef at the Living Seas at Epcot 95, Scott's going to check out one of Walt Disney World's most romantic dining spots. Ah, the mysterious ocean. The fish, the coral, the water. Everyone loves a romantic dinner by the sea. Ever consider dining under it? Here at the Coral Reef Restaurant, you not only get a window into the world of the living seas and some mighty fine food, you also get a look into the world of romance. How? By means of a clever disguise. True, you guys actually uh, met on the teacups? No. No, we didn't. No, you didn't meet here at Disney World, but we... you come here to rekindle the spark here. That's right. Time. How did you meet? Uh, in a swimming pool. In a swimming pool. Was it the shallow or the deep end? It was the deep end. Uh-huh. All right, what's your name? My name's Heather Sanders. Uh, Heather, and is this your dude? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what's your definition of romance? I can't say. I don't know. It's kind of a mystical yeah. thing, right? You can't really, it's ineffable. Can't you can't put really put it. words on it, right? Yeah, nice, safe answer. How about you? Not having his dad sitting at the next table. <laughs> she can't say dad sitting at the next table. I'm going to get that partition we can put up right here and let the, let the kids, OK. So how long have you guys been together? We've been married about five years now. Yeah. Nothing but joy and bliss the whole way through? Definitely. Yes. Is that, is that the correct answer? Yes. Yes, OK. <laughs> How old are you? Five? That's good. You don't have any boyfriends yet, do you? No. OK. <laughs> well, there you have it. True romance from the mouths of people who know. Hungry people. The nice people at table five would like some more water. I'm sorry, Jose. I'm, I'm not actually a real waiter. Well, you're dressed like one. I understand. OK. Better serve up that water quickly, Scott. It's time to meet our special celebrity guest over at the Disney MGM Studios and get a tip or two for your date. The Disney MGM Studios, it's a little piece of Hollywood right in the middle of Walt Disney World. And like the Hollywood in California, you just never know what big celebrity you might run into. And, and here she is, star of TV, star of film, uh, best-selling author, fitness guru, 
You name it, she's done it, ladies and gentlemen. It's Joan Collins. Hi. Well, how are you? Joan, how are nice you? To see you, Scott. Uh, Joan, listen, uh, I've got a, uh, I've got a date with a, a secret admirer a little later on, and I was wondering if you had any advice for me. Um, yes, and um, be mysterious. Okay. Yeah, that's good for me. Is my hair mysterious yeah, looking? And right be now? Um, healthy and youthful and happy. Okay, so it's mysterious. But you all are all of those things. Obviously. Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> well, now you know you are. You're the most glamorous Hollywood star I've ever met. Oh. And thank you. You know, and uh, you must have men at your uh, beck and call all the time. How do you handle that? Oh, look, it's just, it's not really like that. No. Really Could I have a glass of water, please? No, no. Thank you so much. Oh, oh how nice. Yeah, I'm sorry. Would you like one? No, it's okay. Oh, I, I, yeah, I, I, it up. I guess I was exaggerating on that. Oh. Um, so, Jonah, what are you doing here today, and, and can anyone come and watch? Well, anyone can come and watch, absolutely. Um, I'm doing lots of things. First of all, I have a motorcade on Hollywood Boulevard. Then I'm putting my handprints at Grauman's Theatre, which okay. is rather exciting. Yes. Like sort of old-time movie star. Right. Then I'm doing lots of guest interviews, and then I'm signing copies of my book, Love, Health, Youth, and Happiness. Oh, man, and that's all within a 15-minute span. Yes, it is. That's amazing. I know. In fact, I've got to go to the motorcade right now, oh, okay. so would you excuse me? No, no problem. I'll see you there later. Yes, that's really nice. Nice meeting you as well. You know, I could go for a glass of water right about now. Nice. Cool. What a cup. A cup of water would be good. How about a damp sponge? Who's the, uh, who's the guy with her? Hi, Joan. It's me. Hi, hi, it's me. There, she waved at me. Bye. Joan, she's going to go over and uh, answer questions now from uh, people. And I might get to ask her one too if she, if she remembers who I am. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to our stage the legendary Joan Collins! Yes, Joan, I was wondering, um, do you recommend that I uh, cream rinse and condition? <laughs> what I suggest is that you cream rinse if there's an R in the month, and you condition if there isn't. Thank you very much. You're welcome. special day with a special star. I even got my own personally autographed book. Dear Scott, if I'm the queen of glamour, you certainly are the king. Love, Joan. That looks like your handwriting, Scott. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's personally autographed. Don't look now, Scott, but it's time to close the show and to meet up with that special secret admirer. Well, there you have it. It's uh, the end of the show, and uh, I guess my secret admirer won't really. You know, she said, meet her by the castle. Oh, man, that might be cattle. Excuse me, sir. Yeah? A very nice lady asked me to bring this to your table. Oh, OK. It's the Inside Out Insider. Swing along with Bryant Gumbel at Eagle Pines and Osprey Ridge Golf Courses for his sixth annual Celebrity Amateur Tournament, March 3rd through the 5th. Leprechauns can be found at Pleasure Island this March 17th. Dance, laugh, and party with the little people this St. Patrick's Day. 
Mickey Mouse hosts the new live show, Galaxy Search, at the new Tomorrowland Theater. Epcot 95's World Showcase hosts Kids Day with special fun activities for Epcot's younger guests. The beautiful spring weather makes Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground the perfect place for a more rustic resort experience. Walt Disney World helps celebrate high school graduation this April as thousands of high school seniors party from dusk till dawn on grad night. Well, there you have it, our look at Disney and love. And until next time when we rendezvous again, I'm Scott Harriet. Why don't you just be you? So nice. Looks like I won't be having the cobbler. planning video, please call. Air transportation provided by Delta Airlines, the official airline of Walt Disney World.